Cracking quadratic equations in English. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of algebra, and our focus is on quadratic equations. If you've ever wondered what they are, how they look, or why they're essential, you're in for a treat. Let's embark on this mathematical journey together. At its core, a quadratic equation is an equation of the second degree, meaning it involves terms up to x2, x squared, x2. The general form of a quadratic equation is x2 plus bx plus c equals 0 x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 x2 plus bx plus c equals 0. Here, a, b, and c are constants. a does not equal 0 because if it's zero, then it's not a quadratic equation. The equation might look a bit complex, but don't worry. As we move along, we'll unravel its secrets. You might be wondering, why should I even bother about these equations? Well, quadratic equations are everywhere. They can model many real life situations like the path of a thrown object, Profit and loss in business scenarios. Engineering designs. Understanding them can be a doorway to understanding more complex mathematical concepts and real-world phenomena. Every quadratic equation can have up to two solutions or roots. These roots can be two distinct real numbers, two identical real numbers, two complex numbers, the nature of these roots depends on the value of the discriminant, which is given by b2 minus 4acb caret 2 to 4acb2 minus 4ac. Don't fret if this seems overwhelming. With practice, it'll become second nature. There are multiple methods to solve a quadratic equation. 1. Factoring. This is breaking the equation into two binomial expressions. 2. Quadratic formula. A direct formula that gives the roots based on the values of a, b, and circa 3. Completing the square. A method that involves rearranging the equation into a perfect square trinomial. With consistent practice and application, you'll find the method that's most intuitive for you. And there we have it, a comprehensive insight into quadratic equations. Remember, like any language, the language of mathematics requires regular practice. So keep working on those equations, and soon they'll be as familiar to you as your ABCs. Thanks for tuning in, and happy learning!